Hey, Dylan. Hey, Matt. We're going to do another reaction to a list. Heck yeah, let's rock. So this one is from Cosmopolitan. Okay. And this is what the name of the article is. All right. 25 of the best. Best. The best 90s Christmas movies that will give you peak nostalgia. Ooh. Okay. All yeah. right. So that's the criteria. So it's it's the best. It's the best of 90s Christmas movies. The best. <laughs> Not somebody's favorite. <laughs> Nobody's well, favorites. No, 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 no. The best. Yep. So, you know, keep in mind some of your favorite 90s Christmas movies and we'll see what they missed here. Yes. Uh, at 25, we have Go. a Flintstones Christmas Carol. That's a good one. It's a good one. I haven't I, seen it. You haven't seen that one? Um, no. It's a good one. It's it's really good. It's 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 it, it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Number 24. Yeah. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. It's fine. It's fine again. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. I'm impartial. I, I prefer Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. <laughs> oh, la di da. <laughs> I know. I prefer the sequel, which is Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. But that's well, also because my little sister had a DVD of it. So it would just constantly fucking play in the car. Yeah, there's just <laughs> memories to it. Yeah. Got it. Uh, don't agree with 23 here. Agree um, with number 20. With tw did you see Mickey's Once Upon a I, Christmas? I have seen Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. It's okay. fine. Okay. Um, tw <laughs> 23, we 23. have Frosty Returns. I don't think uh, I've the, ever seen at, Frosty Returns. The animated television special from 1992 in which John Goodman voices Frosty the Snowman. That makes sense. But you don't agree with it. What don't you agree with? Too I think low? the animation is a <laughs> huge... Just not good. <laughs> the animation is a huge step down from the original. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's that seems like the theme of the 90s, unfortunately. Um, n n Of course, you've got the big stuff coming out from Disney um, at certain times. But a lot of, like, those specials had really poor animation. <laughs> yeah. Well, at 22, 22. We, we have technically takes place at Christmas. We'll never do an episode on it, most likely, uh, which is Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Yeah? <laughs> I think we should do it. I've never <laughs> seen this movie. Dylan, let me just remind you, it is a two hour and 45 minute long movie. Yeah. That that just vaguely takes pl place at Christmas. <laughs> Are you saying you don't want to watch Eyes Wide I Shut? I really prefer not to, but look, if you if you pick it, I'll never stop you. But uh, it would be of my opinion to not do it. Um, 21. Dude, it's, it's the 25 <laughs> best. <laughs> Christmas specials of Look, the 90s. I'll sooner, I'll sooner do this. At 21, okay, 21, we have the 1994 Nutcracker starring Macaulay Culkin as the Nutcracker. I don't like the Nutcracker. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. Um, that was another one that my sister had a DVD of the Barbie version of the Nutcracker. And so anything associated with the Nutcracker besides the Brian Setzer version of that one jam um i could give or take so one of these days we're going to do the nutcracker in the four realms like weird tim burtony version of nutcracker oh, that came yeah. out a couple of years ago i don't ago. think i've ever seen that so it's it's not bad Sweet. uh number 20 yeah. jack frost don't get too excited we're talking about the michael keaton one <laughs> this movie's awful this list is wrong i hate this movie <laughs> i hate this movie like genuinely do not like this movie it's i it's don't know a bad why movie. i don't know it's why a... i don't like this movie Whenever it was on, I was like, nope, hated this movie the, I, I genuinely think that the snowman in the Michael Keaton one is more terrifying than the snowman in the horror movie oh, one. Oh, I would agree. It's got like I a weird agree. uncanny valley thing that I do not and like. And the, the CGI of him throwing snowballs freaks me out too. Yeah. No, it's, it's really <laughs> it's weird. It's not cool. I don't like that movie. But people love number, it. Number 19, a movie 19. that... um. God, these it's are the best. <laughs> these are the best. <laughs> it's got. a remake. It's a remake. It is not better than the original by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. Um, and they made some weird changes in it, but I still think it works. Oh, is it this, this going to be Miracle? Miracle on 44th Street. Yeah. So this is the one I've seen more. 
this is the one that I associate with my childhood. This is what Fair. I grew up watching with my parents. This is my dad's favorite one for some reason. I think it's just because it was on all the time. Um, yeah, it's not as good as the original, for sure. Yeah, they just made some strange changes uh, to I make it more modern that I didn't love. And you um, know what? All right. <laughs> I don't like the girl who plays Matilda. How dare you? No, I'm just um, kidding. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Number 18. Yeah. I can't remember if we did this yet or Number not. 18. If not, if not, I'm, we need to do it soon. Okay. The Santa Claus. Like the, the Tim Allen like movie. Tim the Allen Santa movie? Claus. Yeah. You don't know have if we've we... done this yet? I've, did I've, we? We have talked our way around it multiple times. That's what I mean. Times. I don't think we've ever picked the original movie for the show. Let's do it. That, that's yeah. a heavy hitter. That that's is a big a, one. That is like a, we we may have one of our December picks. Like that's that's how big that flick is. But right. but we have he, we have we've talked a lot about things associated with it. Well, because the new series is trash. Awful, terrible. Um, all right. So Go number on. seventeen. I will say that I'll put this on a like. Maybe this is next summer for us. Okay. Uh, look who's talking now. The third in the franchise. I don't. I didn't even know there. Is this the one where the dogs talk? This is the one with the <laughs> dogs talking. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I did put it together. I loved part two because it was before Roseanne went fucking bonkers. Yeah, she was hilarious in that movie. <laughs> I've never even heard of number sixteen, but number, number 16. sixteen, one special night. Uh, a TV movie. It's the sequel to Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> starring, starring James Gardner and uh, Julie Andrews. What the fuck? One special yeah. night. 1999. I've never heard of this. It says, Ooh, all hail our queen it. Julie Andrews. This TV movie is making the correct choice by letting James Gardner's character fall in love with her. The premise being that two strangers take shelter together during a winter storm. Corny and malfact, uh, manufactured drama and romance ensue. If you happen to like Hallmark movies, this is an early draft for the say, romances this, that you know and love. Yeah, this just looks like a Hallmark movie. Which, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, why not? Uh, all right, number 15. It's Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. I've never seen this. Says the last new <laughs> Peanuts special to ever air on CBS. Over 9 million households watched it, but it's also not as popular or as well known as the original 60s well, special. yeah, no shit. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's going to be one we have to watch, though. Yeah, because, I agree. Because, like, if, 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 because who knows? You're not a huge it's, fan of that original. I might love this one. You might love this one. This might be when Fergie's the voice of Sally, for, for all I know. Um huh. Yeah, did you not know that f- at one point in her career, Fergie was the voice of Sally in the 80s and early 90s? I love it. Yeah. All right, number 14. I've never seen this, but I feel like it's shocking we haven't gotten there because we're both Disney adults. Yeah, go for uh, it. N- number 14, Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas. I saw that a lot when I was a kid <clears throat> um, because I would attend daycare after school. And for some reason, that was like one of the DVDs that they would constantly put in. Um, okay if i remember correctly it's got like this weird like organ character um okay that's really creepy looking Love <laughs> um, it. but it's okay it, it's it's very much in the vein of all of those 90s disney sequels that went stage right. dvd so all right so good, now we're in the okay. middle of the list one that we've covered on the podcast number 13 mixed nuts mixed nuts i remind me of this one this is the one with Steve Martin, Rita oh, Wilson, Adam this Sandler. This was fucking insane. This yeah. was the one that was basically a play that yeah, we watched. Yeah, that was at a suicide. Film. Yeah, it's Christmas at a suicide hotline. Is the premise of the movie. That movie is awesome. I think it's that's, great. That's one that. Um, wow, I forgot the title of that one, but I'm glad that you just reminded me of that because I want to get a yeah. copy of that to watch this year again. That was really good. Here's one that I can't believe we haven't done as like a summer pick. Uh, number twelve, the long kiss good night. The Long Kiss Good Night. Which one is that? So this is the Gina Davis action movie uh, written by, uh, also featuring Samuel oh, L. Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. yeah, that's written by, um, what's his face? The guy who writes all the Christmas action movies. Uh, so he did like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and like the oh, script Shane Black. for Lethal Weapon. Shane Black. Web- Shane he Black. did Shane the, Black. Uh, the Iron Man 3 too. Yeah, he well. just loves, he loves action movies at Christmas. Yeah. Uh, which which, speaking of action movies, set at Christmas time, number 11, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, uh, which I have argued way more Christmassy too. than the first one. Oh, easily. Easily. There's snow. 
for one. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for a new seasonal anime? Want to know what new anime music is out there? Looking to add a new waifu or husbando to the list? Or are you just looking for a modern or classic anime to add to your play in the watch list? My name is Nick and I run the Waifus and Weeboos podcast. And you can check me out on geekscape.net. All right, so what are we at? Are we at number 10? Here's number 10, number 10. So here number we go. 10. Okay, so this is the 10 best 90s Christmas specials for According peak to nostalgia. For peak for nostalgia. Peak nostalgia. Peak nostalgia. And I I don't think I've ever seen this, but just reading this title gave me peak nostalgia. Okay. Number 10 to Grandmother's House We Go. Uh, is that Mary Olsen, Kate and Ashley? That's the yeah, Olsen twins is. movie. I've never seen it, but I can see it in my head. Like oh, I, yeah. I I know what I know this that looks VHS like. box. I know yeah. this VHS <laughs> box. I couldn't tell you a damn thing. <laughs> It'd be fun to it. revisit. I bet I bet we oh, would I have a good could. time with it. It's All ridiculous right. that we haven't. Yeah. So I Number think you and I started to pause this for a second. No, it's all right. I think you and I have the issue of. I mean, it's not an issue because it's our fucking podcast. Fuck everyone else. But we pick shit that we like, <laughs> and we really try to stay far from stuff that like we're like, well, that's something that people like, but we could probably give. Or we take. need to find a guest. We, we need do. to find a guest who like grew up loving those Mary Kate and Ashley movies yeah. that can be our guru for yes. that. Um, number so. nine, we did not need any assistance on when we covered it. I would put this higher than number nine. And number nine, we have I'll Be Home for Christmas. I've been waiting for that one. <clears throat> Honestly, that's my number one. I think yeah. that's my number one. When I think 90s Christmas, that's the movie I think of. I think yeah. of that movie. I think of that soundtrack. Th well, that let's is see if, number one for me. Let's see if the next eight change your mind at all. But right now, I can tell you that number eight, I would put I'll Be Home for Christmas above. Okay. A number eight, we've got Jingle All the Way, which is another one that I'm shocked we haven't done for the podcast. I'm also shocked we haven't done that for the <laughs> podcast because that's one that, that was essential to my childhood. Like, I watched that constantly. Agree with you. It's not going above I'll Be Home for Christmas, but right now, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Jingle All the Way. All right. Wait, I'll uh, Be Home for Christmas, the Santa Claus, Jingle All the Way. Um, number seven, I know wait that minute, I have... Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. I think I just realized the Santa Claus is in top ten. Nope. What the fuck? This is like that stupid list that you gave me a couple weeks ago. Well, listen, we'll get there. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Number seven, I've never seen this. I don't know if you've seen this. I okay. do want to eventually see it. Okay. Um, it's a remake of a a film that I really enjoy called The Bishop's Wife, but this was the 1996 version of that movie, The Preacher's Wife, okay, uh, starring Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington. Um, and it actually led to one of the best-selling gospel albums of all time uh, with the Whitney Houston soundtrack. Uh, I'd be interested in checking it out, but because I haven't it. seen it, I won't. I won't say one way or the other on yeah. if I would put I'll be home for Christmas. I can't. I, I don't know what I don't know on that. That'll one, be so. on a different. We'll, we'll, we will take Preacher's Wife and put it on a different list. Yes. The have not seen list. <laughs> um, number six. This is a good one. This could be top five. Batman Returns. Probably the best superhero Christmas movie ever made. It's weird that, <laughs> that that's a category because it's not the only one. Um, <laughs> I like Batman Returns. I'm not sitting here going like "fuck Batman Returns." I'm in my head rearranging my list. So okay. I still think I still think I'll be home for Christmas is my number one. Yep. I still think I don't think of Batman Returns as a '90s movie, even though it is. Oh, and it's like '92. It's not even like it's like early enough '90s where you're like, I forget that it's not from the '80s. I agree, but like, but like I treat batman and then batman returns as like as like a package deal a package that came out deal yeah. so like i know it's multiple years in between but like to me those two movies are so rooted came together. out minutes apart yeah <laughs> yeah because you gotta um, remember when i was cognizant of batman movies they both all were of there. those movies had come come out i think the only one that i remember specific like being in theaters was batman and robin that was okay. the last of that run that's that I, fair that that's i saw fair. in theaters um 
I love Batman Returns, but it's 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 not better than I'll Be Home for Christmas. I, it, I no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's pro- It's a better movie. It's not on my list higher than that <laughs> movie of, of 90s Christmas specials. So number five. Number five. We're in the top five. Top five. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Okay. Number four, Home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> I, I think you need to pick one. <laughs> for a list like this i feel like you gotta pick one um, um oh Home okay Alone i'm looking at number three santa claus though for 90s christmas specials home alone I, two so yeah that's what i mean i think that home alone should be in the top five yes for sure easily <clears throat> but home alone two you could have been perfectly content in the top 15 yep. with that you know what i yep. mean like I think that's my that's more my problem that you put Home Alone two and Home Alone up side here by together. side yeah. as a pair. Um, so we're now right. top three, right? Top three. Top, top three, three might be the first one where I say I would put this above. I'll be home for Christmas. Okay. Um, but I think that I'll be home. I will say this: I'll be home for Christmas. To me, feels more like a peak '90s movie than this. Okay. But the Muppets Christmas Carol. Agreed. I would agree. So the Muppets Christmas Carol again does not give me nostalgia for the nineties. Like that, that and that's yeah. how I like see this list. So I would agree that the Muppets Christmas Carol, much like Batman Returns, better movies than I'll be home for Christmas. But for this specific very specific list that I've built in my head, I'll be home for Christmas is still at the top. Alright. Number now, two. Number two. Only in Cosmopolitan. Could this be the Hold number on. two Hold Christmas on. movie over Home Alone, over the Santa Claus, Claus over I'll Be Home for Christmas, okay, over Jingle so the All the Way? The criteria is we're in the 90s. And I'll right. tell you that we've covered this. This may have been our first Valentine's Day pick, honestly. No fucking way. What do you tell, think it I is? I can't remember the title of it. Hold While on. you were sleeping young? with Sandra Bullock? Yep. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> number... Two. Dylan. I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt so bad when we recorded that episode because I was way not into that movie. And <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a kind of fucked up premise for it's, a movie. Number to one, start it's a off. really fucked up premise. And number two, like, I hate to be that guy. And I don't know that this is necessarily true as someone who adores love, actually. That's one of my favorite movies. It was not, I was not the target demographic for that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the second time and last time I'd watch while you, while you were sleeping. Yeah, um, it's just really boring right. to me. Go what ahead. do you think is the number one movie number then, Dylan? Number one? That's insane. So, all right, let me look at my shelf. I feel I like think you it, have stated a lot of the 90s heavy hitters. This is, I would, I don't think they're wrong with this. I think it's kind of a cliche number one. Okay, hold on. Personally, I would have, I would have been happier if they had really swung and put yeah, "I'll Be yeah. Home for Christmas" at number one where it deserved. Like that to me is the wild pick. Okay, have we covered this. this? We have. We have covered this. All right. Do you need any other hints? Yeah. Give me like an think, or something. Think, or think more like- animated than live action. Actually, here. Here's the biggest hint I can give you. Think <laughs> that it defines people's personalities sometimes. Are you fucking kidding me? Is Nightmare Before Christmas number one <laughs> Nightmare, on this list? Nightmare Before Christmas is their number one Christmas 90s movie to give you peak nostalgia. Eh. Yeah. I... Did disappointing we, we did cover nightmare before christmas we did we did it as our like it was literally last year's halloween right before the holidays that's really unfortunate because with beetlejuice 2 coming up that would have been a great time to talk about nightmare before Look, christmas oh and we already <laughs> did cover a beetlejuice christmas special we too did. so we're <laughs> god damn we can we're do really... batman returns michael keaton did we not do batman returns We've yet never, i have dude i have not seen batman returns since i was a child so no. all right then batman returns we're we've locked in that's going to be in like a week or two from now for our that might be next week i think it's let me check our schedule yeah next week we'll do batman returns you want that to be your pick for next yeah, week? yeah that's fine wait beetlejuice doesn't come out till september yeah september 6th next week's oh, episode will oh, be september that's 2nd right. good call good call <laughs> so, sorry sorry 
So there we go. <laughs> Look, you guys get to experience. Behind the fucking <laughs> 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 well, Dylan, Dylan, what I can say is Bro, you we give. Fit that in this week. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Dylan, you I give me. I back to school. I'm not even fucking here. <laughs> Dylan, you God. give me peak '90s feelings. Oh man, I'll be home for Christmas with you. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 now we won't stop till the big ball drops on New Year's. Happy, happy, happy holiday, have a great, great, great holiday, have a merry, 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 happy holiday. listening to the Geekscape Network.